a winner before and has struggled to make finals nights. Yeah, and he's not the type of player. One hundred and eighty. He's not the type of player who let you know that he's not playing very well, or he's he's. Backs of confidence and well, belief in himself. And a Adam, you recall his 62. Back as he looks at this 62. Two darts, a double 16. Another Game 15 darts, what a wonderful Adam start. Hunt. It had the ingredients to be a great match, this one. We'll start on the 19s. To leave 80. 139. Is this the beginning of the end? For Barry Van Pia, this has been a tremendous statement. And just a little reminder that the competition of group has never just won on a Monday and plenty of work for Adam Hunt 48. to do. Barry you require 10 20. then to put the gloss on what has been a masterful display from Game, the Dutchman. Shots, and there and it the is. Match. A thumping four-worn win for Berry Van Pier, inflicting the first defeat of the group on Adam Hunt. And what a way to do it. The average, 105.84. A couple of maximums in there as well, hitting half of his double attempts. But the treble 18 would be a real bonus. In that scenario, hunting the treble down might have been the wrong call. Just a big single, maybe even closer to the double. Yeah, it's nice to hunt the 36. trebles down, but after that first Team dart, requires 60. just a little ricochet could have gone all over. A bit of a mess from both. Is Game this one going to be punished? Yes, play. it is. Timo Trichol. reversal from the previous leg there, where Robert Thornton will feel he should be 3-1 up, or at least give Fifth himself a Timo chance at the bullseye first. for the finish Game there. Was well, gone from the sublime to the ridiculous, as Thornton looks at double 12. Yeah, he goes 60. for that 16 route, and you mentioned this before. Timo, you require 100. Going for a finish, thinking about one double. He ended up getting the treble. He would have been thinking tops there. Two 16s to leave tops. Now Tebow's thinking tops, Game, and he's shots, getting tops. And, the match. and Robert Thornton is toppled by the Frenchman, Tebow Trecolt. A 4-2 success. He came good towards the end of that match. An 11 data followed by a 14, upping his average in the end to 87.27. Again, hitting half of his checkouts. Game shot on the third. Is it easy and the Chris. Yeah, Hendrick. making him pay, isn't he, for that real mess case there. Hence the reason he doesn't look too disappointed there because them darts are well thrown. Well, this would be the ultimate irony, wouldn't it? Oh, well, I thought it was going to go. I thought we were going to be rewriting that Alanis Morissette song for a moment Jerry there. Require would have been totally ironic. Yeah, absolutely. And Jerry looks cool, calm and collected. Going to be double 15, which is not the nicest, as we've mentioned already today. Fair enough marker. Game shot. It's one way demolition match, here for Jerry, Jerry Hendricks. Hendricks. Today's game ended 4 0. Exactly the same scenario today, but it was a, a tale of missed opportunities for Scott Winder. He may have a smile on his face, but also a lot of frustration for Jerry Hendricks. Two points on the board. The statistics were ruined from that first leg. and North from 12 from Wind is something he won't want to see, but Jerry Hendricks is up and running on moving Tuesday. He gets two, a double 16 instead. Game shot on the Robert fourth Robert Thornton play. is Robert back in Thornton. charge of this match. Hops for the former. Well, that leaves double 14. It's a long way off the intended target of double 18, and he can't quite put it right. Yeah, it's interesting to Very see the approach when they have one doubles. I mean, there's no closing the eyes from Robert Thornton. He just shakes his head and complains, berates, waves his arms about, continues, looks for divine inspiration. Anybody up there? Game Apparently not, the fifth play. as Barry, Barry Van Pier makes Robert Thornton pay. As we watch Robert Thornton pray. Sixth leg, it's Barry to throw first. Game on. And it was poor set-up play from Robert Thornton. What exceptional set-up play from Barry Van Pier. Yeah. Dead cat stuff as well, that from Berry, because he's hit the maximum to get the call, to leave himself on double 13. 131. Well, it's unlucky for some, double Berry 13. 26. There's the routine. 
been an enjoyable game. A good fight between two great players. How much can he see of double Game four? Enough. Did match. think when he went for the Very five for a pick. moment, it might have been a bad decision. The dart was standing up in the 13, potentially blocking that bed, but he had a clear view and he has won both of his matches so far, beating the league leader Adam Hunt and now defying a 96 average from Robert Thornton to see off the Scotsman 4 2. And first missed dart or a double, much to the relief of Adam. You feel Adam will think he's going to get a dart or a double. It will only be the one. And it'll be double 16. It's yeah, parity. It's 2-2. Two, two. It's classic. And look at the response there from Jerry. I think that was a real kick to the stomach. He'll be determined not to, to start a slide here, Adam Hunt. So that is so, so welcome. When you're at the top, the only way is down often. But Adam Hunt might just be halting a fall here. Eighty-one, but just keeps himself in it. What 86. a treble nineteen that was from Jerry Hendricks. But two darts from the very impressive Adam Hunt. A game delightful finish. And the match. A wonderful Adam game Hunt. between two good players, two good friends. Smiles all around, and Jerry Hendricks played his part in a, in a fascinating game. If Adam Hunt does win this group, he might just look back on that because he had his problems. He was losing 2-0. And it's two darts, a double 12. He does a little juggling act. Just see him just patting himself down. Game shot on the second that leg. That horrible streak Scott of 19 Wilder. legs on the spin has now been banished. And you can just sort of see there was an extra bounce Third in his stride. Let's just say first. that. Game up. Bit rushed again. 76. Not really. Thibaut will stay in his own rhythm. Very Game good at that. And he completes play. a combo for 3-3. Three, three. So we go the distance. Three. At least he gets near him. Six darts wins it. Stops himself in his tracks. Whoa, and then decides to fill it up anyway. No real problem with that. God, did I love that throw there from Thibaut Tricol. But Scott Wind is now shown as what he can do. 135. Thibaut, you require well, Where's this come from? Yeah, he would have left 38 had he gone for the 57 instead, which he might have split anyway. Game so shot. no trouble and hitting the... the Thibaut Maximum Tricol. there, one of four in the match for Thibaut Tricol. And it's a 4-3 win. Much, much better from Scott Winder. But it is Tricol who picks up the points in that one. An average just shy of 91 for him. As I mentioned, 4 180s to go with 4 140s as well. Never seen me cheer for a 109 in my life. Bends the wire. This definitely goes. Game shot on the third line. And Robert gets Robert it right. Thornton. He's still got half a dozen darts from here. And he might do it in just a couple. But it's Game three the for the Thorn. Play. And it's 3-3. Three, three. And this is an all-important leg now. Yeah, Robert, Robert Thornton was looking for divine inspiration in his previous match. Now he's heads down to the floor. And he might stay there. 180. That is fantastic. Even acknowledged by the players next door. On my wall. 140. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a tap Jerry on the wall, but 24. it might be a pat on the back for Jerry Hendricks. The 180, leaving double 12, chucks a ghost dart in there. And I like it. It's double six. Now it's nasty. 18. Well, he might have chucked a ghost dart in the double, but he couldn't chuck a real one in. Robert, you and now Robert Thornton gets the chance. To pick his pocket. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, he hasn't stayed there, but he's found another bed. Game and he's found the finish. And the match. Fabulous from Robert, Robert Thornton. Thornton. A real Scottish steal in a last leg decider. And that could change the direction of his week. A 4-3 success over Jerry Hendricks. And Robert Thornton picks up a couple of points from the jaws of defeat. That 106 checkout. The real story of the match. Hendricks had missed three darts to win it, but the points go the way of the Thorn. Very required 120. 
Can Barry Van Peer produce a real monster finish? Having to shuffle across. Game oh, shot but he's pulled it off perfectly. Barry Van Peer. Absolutely wonderful from Barry Van Peer. The Shanghai shot for a 4-1 victory. Goes through his routine. No score. Wow. Well, did not see that plot twist Tebow coming. Reply, 40. Four match darts missed by the excellent Barry Aim Van Peer, whose average Tebow has now Tricol. come crashing down, and Tebow Tricol has come crashing back into the match. Surely not. Surely not. Game oh, wow. Shot. What a turnaround that is Tebow from Tebow Tricol, who comes back. From the dead, really, in that game. Van Pier raced away with the first three legs, and Thibaut Trico won four on the spin, capped off with an absolutely stunning 1 3 6 checkout. Van Pier missing darts for the match, five of them in total, and it goes the way of Thibaut Trico in a last leg decider. Wow. 170. Couldn't hit a double earlier, and I thought he was going to hit two on the spin Adam there. It's a fantastic 88. effort there from Scott Winder. And all of a sudden, Adam Hunt is up against it. It's 88, has to go. What a dart. Seventy. would have been a much Scott, nicer-looking double than the, the camera angle suggested there for Adam Hunt. He would have felt he could crash that in off the barrel. Plenty of room here for Winder, but he's going the wrong way. No score. Yeah, the five players there, when they go for a double, you have Adam the confidence they're going to hit it with three in the hand. It's just something when Scott has, he needs to be working on that area of his game. Adam hasn't finished this one off just yet. Ten. And still hasn't. Scott, you required 20. Now, can Scott Winder, the Partick Thistle mad thrower, be a thorn in the side of Adam Hunt. Game shot on the fourth leg. Score winder. He might turn into the spoiler in this group. The end of a real tight match. They look nervy darts there from Scott Winder. Adam Hunt. 140. Scott, you require 160. Well, Hunt will get an opportunity. 45. How big an opportunity would it be? That's a bit of a slip from Scott. Adam, you require 88. Yeah, Scott Winder falters two scores of 45. He's got the ascendancy to the man in your picture. To be the first player on 14 points. Top game beats shot. bottom. And the match. Another Adam fantastic Hunt. game that's got the full seven legs. You can see the relief on Adam Hunt's face. But fair play to Scott Winder. Nine out of ten, I would give him there. Just at the end, he just faltered. Adam Hunt doesn't need anything just to step in there. No guarantee. This man has missed 18 darts at double in three legs. 19. Game shot on the third leg. Doesn't Very matter how many he misses, as long as he's the only one hitting doubles, and he has been the only one hitting them. 3 nil For a 4 nil victory. Game it was a doubling disaster for match. Jerry Hendricks. Barry Van Peer. For Barry Van Peer, he just mops up the scraps. It's a 4 0 whitewash victory of his compatriot, Jerry Hendricks, who can't wait to get up the stage. Nothing to write home about on the stats. The most important thing, Barry Van Peer moves to double figures. He it, from my mind, the only other player that's been in top spot has actually been Scott Winder, the man now in bottom. Because he won his first match 4 0. Here comes a Thorn. Game looking at top, on the finding it. Robert Thornton. That's how you do it. That's the end of the blooper reel. But you but this is for the match. It's been a bit of a bizarre game, but it's game Thornton that gets over the line. The it's a 4 2 Thornton. victory in a match that you could say tip, miss a, missed opportunities and bounce out. I mean, I think that both players remember. They both can laugh about it right now, but it's a game that they won't want to remember. Again, Robert Thornton gets over the line. 3 1 80s, a 120 finish being the positives. Well, for Scott Winder. You have to go and sharpen those darts. Require 101. Good attempt. And Tricol is now left hanging on to this leg, but he will get a go at a double. Only just.
Got a touch of the Thorntons there. Almost missed a big number on the one. Game but he shot nails the, the tops. Leg. And Thibaut Trico kind Trico. of got himself out of jail in that leg. Wow. Two darts, double 12. Game shot on finish. the fifth leg. Look what Thibaut Adam is on Hunt. there. 32. Look at the reaction there from Thibaut. He knows the importance of that one. He had to break the Frenchman's throw if he was going to Sixth win this game. Adam to... Four points behind. Could be level at the top of the table. Double 16. Game. And it's sweet Shots. for Trico. And the match. Tebow Tebow Trico, Trico with a big 4-3 victory. You can see the disappointment for Adam Hunt. He knew he had a massive opportunity there to go four points clear. How did I win that, he says. Oh, he likes the treble 19 route with double 14. 78. And that's the only problem. I don't like that treble 19, double 14. Not because of the 14, it's the implications if you go inside the 14. Well, it means it could get messy from here, doesn't it? That's 100. Scott, you require seven. Got to concentrate on the big number. We've seen loads of those miss today. Not that time. Double two. Game and that's found as well. Way. That will settle Scott, Scott Winder, Winder down in this match. Quickly get it, Scott, before he bounces out. But he's got all the time in the world here. Thirty-three. Yeah, just a real mess. Just been a lackluster performance, despite the fact these three darts away from victory. That's thirty-two for the match. Very required thirty-two. Did what he could to leave double eighteen. Actually, could have gone for the bull if he really fancied it with his last dart, but he's laid up and left double sixteen to Game get the win, and he has got the win and the match. So no Very wins bumpy. for Scott Winder today. A day that has seen so many bounce out, so much bad luck, but very vampire, despite a sluggish showing, has managed to keep himself in contention towards the top of the table. That victory puts him two points behind Thibaut Trecol and Adam Hunt. And Trecol is back in action next. He takes on Jerry Hendricks, tops after 12. It's like he flicks yeah, the switch, isn't it? the fourth it? Go from mediocrity to... Just look like he's never going to miss. The elite plays, it's all about Fifth consistency. Fifth leg, Jerry to throw first. Game on. Off the table, it's a total opposite. It just has these moments of brilliance. 180. Speaking of which. Such a disappointing game against his compatriot, Barry Van Pia. This would really open the group. What game, a finish. What a finale match. for Jerry, Jerry Hendrix. Hendrix. And it came from nowhere. A big double 17 in the penultimate leg. Tebo Trico just scratches his head and says, where did that come from, Jerry Hendrix? He makes it very, very interesting. It's a massive game to finish. It's top of the table. Adam Hunt against Robert Thornton. Just when Adam, Hunt thought it was all 63. just running away from him. He's got a chance to level it up. Well, there's an interested spectator in the background there. Got Winder watching on. Okay, okay, this is interesting now. Because he's missed the entire 10, which means he can still finish on the ball. Game oh, shot oh, incredible. Well, Adam we've seen Hunt. just about everything today. Almost there. Another. Well, after that bullseye, he hasn't looked back. 132. You'll have to look forward Robert, now and watch and hope that Thornton doesn't complete this combo. He's going to get a dart unless he misses another big number, which he doesn't. Tops. Game shot. And Robert Sigway. Thornton Robert should Thornton. never be written off. You know that. We all know that. And he forces another decider on a day of deciders Seven here. Final leg. It's Adam the Super first. Series. The wrong bed from Adam Hunt. And the right bed Game, sees shot, Robert Thornton remain in Robert the hunt. Thornton. The final twist on a really bizarre day of darts. It's been a terrific Tuesday. Loads of darting drama and duress. But Adam Hunt had the chance to pull clear at the top of the table. But we'll say it again. Right, Robert Thornton off at your peril. Because that win means that the top four have just two points separating them at the end of the day. Clint Dart, have you ever known a day of darts a little bit like that? I think we've had absolutely everything, haven't we? From the from the bizarre moments of the bounce outs, the the amount of four threes there.
Uh, and then just our ending there with a missed start at a double. But what it does mean is do not miss it tomorrow because two points separate four fantastic players. Now, I would try and dissect the whole day with you up here, Glenn, but we've got bids to go to later yeah. on this evening, haven't we? So let's begin by having a look at the results from today's session. Then 15 games come and gone. A lot of them finishing four feet. In fact, nine of the 15 fixtures finishing by the way of four legs to three. We'll give you the results in just a second. Let's talk about the day chronologically then and, and begin with Thibaut Tricol because he was the big mover here on moving days, we like to call it here, at the Super Series. Four wins from five, but because the defeat was in the last game, he's going to feel disappointed, isn't he? He may not so much with Adam Hunt losing that last game there, but, I mean, he was just involved in 4-3 classics all day. So he won a couple of them and lost a couple of them. But well, four wins out of five, you have to be happy with that. Barry Van Beer, exactly the same. Four big wins, but you think it's not enough because Adam Hunt's doing a job. Then Adam Hunt somehow gets through a game uh, in the middle against Scott Winder, but then loses to Thibaut Tricol, 4-3, Robert Thornton, 4-3, and it's all to play for. I'm as baffled as you. I'm trying to dissect, conclude it all. All I know is what a day tomorrow. It most certainly will be. Right, let's talk a bit more then about Thibaut because it was... We spoke earlier about how in his Lakeside campaign, when he got to the final, how he was able to carve out victories. He did it on day one. He did it again on day two. But when he had to bring out some big finishing, especially that 1-3-6 against Barry Van Peer, he was able to conjure up the big moments. Players have certain characteristics and you've got to look at your strengths and weaknesses. And Thibaut Tricol has this incredible steely determination. And that 1-3-6 finish was the finish of the day. I mean, Adam Hunt did bounce back after that, but that was a real moment for the Frenchman. And then he gets a chance right at the end and falls short. It had everything, but Thibaut Tricol is a fighter. He's a lakeside runner-up. He's been involved in some unbelievable games representing France. And he's here to win it this week. Well, it certainly is. Then he got the better of Robert Thornton. In fact, this was the only game that he played all day. They did not go 4-3. Out of a possible 35 legs, he played 34 of them. And when you consider how tight this group is, small margins like this could make a major difference. Yeah, just a little bit of magic is a term I often use in the commentary box. And that's exactly what that when your opponent, like the legend that is Robert Thornton, sat in 12, you won 100 and you ping it in two darts. That's what it's all about. But yeah, my mind, I mean, there was so many moments today. It was from the sublime to the ridiculous at times. It most certainly was. Well, let's talk about Bay Van Peer because he was the other player who made some significant headway. And well, he was freeing it up in the game that he lost to Thibaut Dracol, so we could have so easily been stood up here and talking about him being five from five. He, he, he was just quite dour and moody, and he, he was lethargic and laborious. He was just... I would just like to have seen a little spring in his step, and I think he could have won five out of five today. He's an unbelievable player, top of the challenge to a but I just wasn't keen on what I was seeing from him today. I would say to him, if I was an advisor, if it's, come on, get on the... Get on your toes and really start fist pumping when you're doing it. It just all seems a little dour. Can it sometimes be a change of expectation? You've been in, in the position in, in your career, Glenn, where you've become from a player who you can just go and go on runs and people may just quietly know you. And then you get to that point, obviously, you are BDO number one. Then there's a different type of pressure. People are on your shoulders. People expect and people get on your back. When you turn into that different type of player that Barry's becoming now, similar to you, can your mindset change? Yeah, but you've got to, to be a great dart player. You've got to be versatile. You've got to adapt to situations. You've got to, be, you've got to really have that fight about you so you don't ever stand still. So if he has got a target on his back, then that's a good thing. That's because he's been successful. So how does he drive it forward to get to the next phase of his career? And by being so slow and moody on the hook, he's not for me because his throw looks as good as ever. He's, you know, when he finds that treble 20, he hit a 180 today where he could have fit another 12 darts in there. So still a lot to come from Barry Van Peer and being critical, but that's because I respect him and rate him. And if he wants to win this group and win it this week, for me, he just has to up it a little bit. So you're talking about sublime and ridiculous. Does it get any more ridiculous than this? The 63 from Adam Hunt in this last game against Robert Thornton. Now, this is the most... Well, it's not even lucky because it's a bad dart, the second one of the 10, but it still gives him a chance at the ball. Yeah, and Chris Murphy called it absolutely perfectly. You know, it was uh, unbelievable. I mean, I think I was sat looking at my notes and, and looking at a different one and then comes back for this ball. And then it's game over, you would think, for me, because you can't come back from that if you're Robert Thornton. 
you know, Adam Hunt shouldn't be really missing. And then we have that insane last leg where me and you were stood on the balcony behind there and just unbelievable what was happening. It's unbelievable, crazy day. It has been an unbelievable, crazy. Just in, on the subject of Adam, I know we will be disappointed with the way things have ended today, but you actually have a look at his week as a whole and, and, and compare it and contrast it to the previous times that we've seen him here at the Super Series. Is he beginning to find his best darts at the right time of the season with the autumn approaching and Q score on the horizon? Yeah, knowing, knowing Adam Hunt, he has a big belief in himself and he sets the bar very high. He'd be extremely disappointed tonight because he wanted five out of five. That's the type of mentality he is. But that's how he plays darts. You just haven't seen the best of Edmodus uh, and come off his card and he was very disappointed. He wasn't playing his best. He looks rejuvenated to me. Um, I think he looks really good. He's just been a little bit unlucky today, but there'll be no telling him that. He'll just see the disappointments today. We haven't even spoken about Robert Thornton yet. And, and don't you think that's a good thing? Because we've said in comms, we have not spoke about Robert Thornton yet. He's two points behind the leader. What a day tomorrow. What a day. Shall we have a look at the table before we go? Yeah, absolutely. This is how things shape up as we look ahead to the final day's worth of action. So, two players tied at the top of the table, Adam Hunt and Thibaut Tricol. It is the man from the North East who is top of the table by courtesy of legs difference. Robert Thornton and Barry Van Peer, both on 12 points respectively. Barry being one of the big movers today and then cut adrift at the bottom end of the table, Jerry Hendricks and Scott Winder. Their job tomorrow is to be spoilers at the top. And look at the legs difference. I mean, absolutely nothing to separate them players. We are going down to the wire. It's going to be a good day tomorrow, isn't Absol it? It's always a good day here. Well, I shall see you tomorrow, bright and breezy, maybe after the football. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Well, I look forward to your company. Look forward to your company as well. First thing tomorrow morning, 9.30. We're going to be live on Sporty Stuff TV as well as the Super Series YouTube channel for all of the action here uh, from the live lounge in Portsmouth. Adam Hunt is still top of the table in Group A, but Thibaut Jacol has had a bit of a va-va-vroom on Tuesday. Ooh la la. <laughs>